Hi everybody, Harris here with iDownload Blog, and in this video we're taking a look at not just new features of iOS 15, but really cool new features of iOS 15, many of which Apple didn't announce at their press conference. Let's go over 20 plus really cool features that are just some of my favorites. All right, so starting off with number one, this one's actually kind of simple, but now you can go straight into Spotlight Search right from your lock screen. So for me, I know I go in here all the time for looking things up, whether it's the spelling of a word or a definition or anything like that. But now you can go straight into here just from your lock screen, pull up some information just like that. And when you unlock your phone, you're able to get more data as well. Number two, as an avid podcast listener, I really like fine tuning my controls for the media playback percentage. And previously it would be 1x speed or 1.5, which could be kind of fast, but now you have a one and a quarter speed for your podcast. So if you're a fellow podcast listener, this will be fantastic for you. Next, when you're using the built-in media player in Safari and just on your iPhone in general, similar to podcasts, you can now change the playback speed right from this view. So you can see here, I have a video of Shohei Otani and I'll click the three dots and I can change the playback speed right within this viewer to see his 10 strikeouts much quicker. Next, if we go into the clock app, there's a couple that are really simple, but that I love. So one would be the fact that you can now just tap on an alarm to get right in to modify it. You don't have to do the edit tap anymore. This was a jailbreak feature that I always liked and now it's just here. Secondly, when you want to delete an alarm, you can now just slide right through it and you don't have to do the double tap gesture. Next, you can actually change the font size, not only of your entire UI, but also on a per app basis. So if you go down and in Control Center, you have the font size option. You click on that and you have options for all apps, as well as for the specific app that you're in. And you can change that on a per app basis, which is pretty sweet. So if there's one app that you need to be bigger or is particularly small or large font, you can adjust it to whatever you need, which is just great. Next, when you're on FaceTime and you're on mute and you're trying to talk and people can't hear you because you're muted, uh, your phone will actually alert you, kind of similar to Zoom, that you are muted and that you might be trying to talk so that you won't be talking to yourself for too long anymore. So that's a great feature added to FaceTime. Next, when you're searching for something in Maps and you're looking for some late night 2 a.m. munchies, and you really want somewhere that is open rather than a bunch of items and restaurants that are closed, you can now search for things that are open. So we'll do food, and then we can click open now, as well as other options such as takeout and delivery. And you can actually see all these options are really nice for getting your exact search. And there's also an option for accepts Apple Pay. So if you forgot your wallet, you can make sure you find somewhere that does accept Apple Pay, which is great. Next, Siri can actually send things directly to contacts, whether it be a song or a photo or a website. So if I say, text this to Harris, it's gonna pop this up. It, well, it thinks I'm still listening to the podcast and then I can type something and send it. And this works for photos and web pages and more. Next, there have been upgrades to the Find My app again. So one of them is the fact that you can actually find your device if it is shut off, uh, which is great, so if the battery dies, you can still find it. Or if it's been restored, you can and totally erase, it'll still be linked to you. Now there's also new options for different devices, such as your phone or iPad, uh, as well as your AirTags. So say you have something like a car and you wanna be notified when you leave it behind, you can turn this on and you can customize your settings. So if there's something that you leave behind often uh, mistakenly, you can have your phone notify you if you leave an AirTag or a certain device like a phone behind. Now also on Find My is the ability to track people and devices in real time. So instead of updating every few minutes, Find My with iOS 15 on both devices should now update much more quickly. So in emergencies or really just any other situation that you might be using Find My, it should update people's locations much quicker. Next, if you use the live listening toggle on your control center and you go into it, you can actually turn on background sounds. And this is just white noise. And you can choose from several different options for what you want between balanced, bright, dark, ocean, rain. So if you just need some white noise for studying or reading, you can do that very quickly from Control Center. 
Next, within the Notes app, there's now a new way of sorting using hashtag. So if I wanna say hashtag beats, and I go back into my folders, I can see tags there, and I can see hashtag iMac, hashtag beats. This is just another way of sorting your notes amongst your different folders and libraries. So I really like this as someone who uses notes all the time. This is a really great way of organizing all notes by a really simple hashtag system. Next, when you're in Safari, you actually can customize whether your menu bar and your scroll bar is at the top or the bottom. So by clicking the two A's here, the little text, you can change show top address bar or bottom. So if you're more comfortable with how it had it before and I was 14, you can leave it there. Or if you wanna put it down at the bottom, you can customize it there. And I actually found after using iOS 15 for a while, I did kind of like it at the bottom because your hand is just right there. And it's also really easy to switch between tabs just like that, which is super, super nice. Next, when you go into weather, you're actually able to turn on alerts or notifications for precipitation, which is just fantastic because sometimes you really just wanna know what the precipitation is like and it'll give you alerts before it is going to rain. Now in Photos is actually a really useful metadata tool. So if you wanna see where an image was taken or with what camera or what lens, what shutter speed, all this type of stuff, you can now see all of that, including what type of file it was by clicking the little eye down at the bottom. And this is just a super great feature to finally be able to see a lot of that metadata about what camera took an image. So if you have an image that was taken with a DSLR, you're gonna see that data as long as it was shared to include metadata. So I really like that feature. You can also see file size and, and just so much more. Next, this is a small thing that I really like, but just quicker access to your contact card. You can just click right here and you get into your settings. You don't have to do the double tap from before. And you can also very quickly get into FaceTime video and audio, again, without requiring the extra tap. Next, if you go into your privacy settings and you scroll down to the bottom, you should see record app activity. And if you turn this on, it's gonna give you app activity data. And you can see how your different apps have been tracking you over the past seven days, which is super, super cool. And it'll just give you a bunch of information to see how much your apps are kind of spying on you and, and following you around your phone. So those are about 20 or so really cool features of iOS 15 that I love. Some of them are just as simple as 1.25x playback speed in podcasts, but also new print settings and being able to tap an alarm. And there's tons of new stuff to Find My, to Safari, to playback speed and more. So let me know your favorite feature of iOS 15 um, and let me know any other videos you want to see and stay tuned for iPad mini coverage and more coming up very soon. Thanks for watching.